Everything's going to plan. I haven't started doing much cooking yet, but that's coming up. I've never made tortillas before. You make the dough and then you dry fry them in a frying pan. I wanted a crispy element to my dish, so I decided to cut them into strips and deep fry them to make them crispy. I wanted to give it all. I've taken too much on board. I'm not in a good state at the moment. Sushil. Hi, Josh. So you've never done this style of cooking before? No, no, I haven't. This is my first time, so I understand the flavours and... Um, you understand the spice? Yes, I understand the spice. I've made my dough, I put it in the fridge. Why didn't you put it in the fridge? I just thought I'll rest my dough for some time, so... In the fridge? Um, I think by the looks in your face, it's a bad no, no, idea, no, 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 so no. yeah. Sushil, it's your choice, it's your choice. <laughs> you so the bad thing is that you've only got about half an hour to go. Guys, we are halfway. We're officially halfway now. Just over 30 minutes to go, OK? Excuse me. This is unfair. How has half an hour gone already? I haven't even got a half of the stuff I want done. What do you reckon, Josh? What did you see out there? I saw a bomb site. David completely forgot his tortilla recipe mix, everything that works. Serena, I'm not sure whether she's taking us to South Auckland or Mexico, but never know until we taste it. Here we've got Ella out there, who's 19 years old, and she's using a tortilla press like she's used it a hundred times. Michael, who's having a total meltdown, he's making ice cream. Hours never enough to make an ice cream, is it? Although we do have a blast freezer down the back, so that technology possibly could get him over the line. But I'd say it's destined for trouble. Would you make one? No. No. <laughs> Why would you? I was inspired a little bit by fajita, so I'm gonna make a fajita style topping onto the rice with just some paprika, quite simple. A little bit of cabbage in it as well. Yeah, Mexicans like cabbage? Not too much. I tried to use a white cabbage. I don't want to use the ingredient because he wasn't really so happy about me using it. What are you gonna do with the mango? Um, I'm gonna put that in the salsa on top with the chili and the mango. I thought that's very Mexican, isn't it? Seconds now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As soon as I take my tart out of the oven, I'm thinking, well, I don't know whether I should serve this because of the undercooked pastry. Maybe I should just serve the quesadilla because I know that's cooked and I know that it's right there. Oh, I try to get the milkshake across to the plate and I actually slip and pour some over the plate. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. I needed to get it out of the plate because if it's in there, I'm done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step away from the bench. Medic, it's really, really sore. During the end of the challenge, Medic came over. Just really, really stupid. Um, I haven't really had my right hand as much as I would have liked. I managed to get something up on the plate, and I hope it's good enough. I definitely can tell that the tart's not cooked. At this point, I'm feeling very, very low, and I know that I'm probably gonna go home. Okay, guys, we'll now taste your Mexican dishes, starting with Raheel. That's always my favourite part, when the judges actually eat the food. They've got their poker faces on, they don't give anything away, those boys. So, we'll be interesting to see what they say. Tell us what you cooked for us. OK, so I've done a Mexican bar food. I've got a tostada there with black beans, chipotle and goat cheese. In the middle we've got mojito prawns. And to the right is a snapper and mango ceviche. Looks interesting. Grab a seat and we'll taste it. Thanks. It looks like something you'd get in a bar, exactly what she said. It's delicious. I think visually it's very good, it's very attractive. If it comes out in a bar, I'd love it. I think all the dishes are in the spirit of Mexican food, which I really like. The flavours are bright, everything tastes fresh. That arrived in front of me in a bar, I'd be visually very happy, and having tried it all, I really enjoyed all of it. I go up to the judges, ice cream's just gone. <laughs> Michael, I saw you towards the end of the challenge there and you looked broken. What was going on in your mind? Time was just 
running away so quickly I couldn't think of anything fast enough so I just had to play it up what I had. And how do you think the tart went? To be honest, it's not that great. I think we can see, Michael, that it hasn't said in the middle. A dessert? What, yeah, well, what the I... hell were you thinking? I wanted to stick out of the box. Grab a seat and keep your fingers crossed, mate. Thank you, guys. Uh oh. Bugger. The pastry doesn't look cooked. Try some ice cream, but boy, this is going to have to be good ice cream. The avocado and lime ice cream, I think, is delicious. I love it. This guy can cook, he just ran out of time. I, I tell you what, if that tart had been cooked mm. right the way through, with a crisp pastry. I, I reckon we'd all be sitting here going, holy smoke, that's sensational. The big question is here, is that avocado and lime ice cream with the chilli chocolate sauce enough to save his bacon? I'm feeling good about my plate. I know that the tastes are really tastes I love and I hope the judges like them. Great presentation, isn't it? Sensational presentation. I think that's one of the nicest ceviches I think I've ever tasted. It looks beautiful. There is really not much you can say except well done. He's made this challenge look bloody easy. I think he's a rock star. I think that what I've made instead of the tortilla is as good as I could do in the time that I had. I'm just hoping that I did enough to please the judges. David, you had a bit of a howler. I had a nightmare today. To start off, I forgot my basic ingredients in the pantry. We got everything to the tortilla and the instructions, so about as basic as you can get. Okay, let's see your hand. That's just a bit of a burn through there from the pot handle. It hurt. <laughs> I'm interested in tasting it. Oh, cool. Excellent. Thank you very much, guys. It's lacking texture. When you eat through all the dishes, there's a lot of soft mushy going on and not a lot of really any, anything else bar that. The aftertaste that I'm left with is just mince that to me is not great mince. This is the polenta so-called crisp. It's more like the polenta oily rag. And the salad is heinous. Nothing's ever perfect. I'm just hoping that I did enough not to be the, the bottom person today. I really, really hope that I'm not even in the bottom four because I don't want to be standing there ever again. I knew I was in trouble because I'd never cooked Mexican before. I just had this funny feeling that it's probably me. Walking into elimination today, I'm feeling good. I'm happy with my dish, so I was feeling confident of not going home. I had a nightmare of a day in the kitchen. I forgot major ingredients, I burnt myself, and I'm not entirely happy with what I put up. I'm expecting the worst. I'm feeling really crap about what I put up. So disappointed. I'm 100% sure that I'm going home. I really, really hope that I'm not even in the bottom four because I don't want to be standing there again. Welcome back everyone. Your challenge today was to cook a Mexican inspired dish, MasterChef style. Well done to all of you for getting something on a plate in just 60 minutes. 14 of you will go through to the next round, but one of you will be leaving us today. With Jose's help, we've made our decision. Aaron and Ella, please step forward. We both step forward, and I'm sort of thinking, well, I hope this is a good calling forward. Aaron, yet again, you understood the ingredients and flavours. You presented not one but three dishes, which all had authentic Mexican flavour. You're a rock star. I don't see myself as a rock star. <laughs> I am kind of obsessed with food, but that's about as far as I see it myself. <laughs> Ella, you haven't eaten much Mexican food but you managed an incredible harmonious fusion of Mexican and Kiwi flavours. You've both shown incredible skills. To hear the judges sing praise about my dish, it's surreal, I don't really believe it. Like, I'm just, yeah, it's great. Excellent work, guys. Please take a seat. It feels great to be in the top two. I feel like I've been lucky so far. The gods are smiling on me or something's going my way, so that's, that's nice.